but we going we getting out these four walls yeah the first quarter because the first three months and it's Good morning, guys. Um, if you're new, I'm Nicole, also known as Cole Cole. If you enjoy the vibe, subscribe, like, comment, chit chat, break bread, share on your social media. Boo thanks, new day, new week, new vlog. What's today? It's Monday, April 10th. We are already, I just now realized we are already through the first quarter. Is it quarter? Quarter. Yeah, the first quarter, because the first three months, and it's three, six, nine, twelve. Yeah, I think that's right. We, it's April, y'all. Bored. How are those New Year's resolutions, those, you know, um, new life changes, if you don't want to call them resolutions, because I actually hate calling them resolutions, just, you know, stuff that I need to do different to better myself. How are those going for you guys? I guess I need to reflect myself while I'm asking y'all how how are those things going. I guess I should probably reflect myself and see, check my own progress for the year. And since I got time today, take a few minutes, check my little list, see where I'm at because I haven't looked at the list in a while. I just, you know, fell into regular mode, just, you know. Living, working, doing, sleeping, praying, wake up, repeat. So I should probably take time out and look at that list and see where I am. But I'm starving. I really just want to eat cake because Shaw made um, a cake, like a yellow cake yesterday with this homemade vanilla sweet cream frosting that she usually puts on cupcakes because she do make cupcakes sometimes for special occasions, but she made the... She made the topping yesterday and put it on a yellow box cake. Freaking delicious. I just want to eat cake, but I should eat. I'm going to eat breakfast first because that's the adult thing to do. So I'm going to make me some breakfast. And then I don't really know what else we're going to do today. Like I said, it's Monday. I start the new local Houston travel assignment tomorrow. So I'm a little nervous. Not nervous as in like, oh, like I'm scared. It's just, I guess, anxious to see what the unit looks like. What the unit look like, how they function over there, see what they doctors act like, what their protocols, their procedures are. And most importantly, living in the city of Houston, how long is it going to take me to get there in the morning? Because I already drove by there just to like see where it was at because I don't like going to places that time of the morning and not knowing where I'm going. So even like when we take travel assignments outside of the state, we usually at some point go by the hospital before we work the first shift so we know where the hell we going. So I already went by there. I went by there last night when I left Ebony House. So I know where I'm going, but it's Houston. Like, I don't know what the traffic is going to be like that time of the morning in order for me to get there. I'm hoping it's going to be very minimal because it's already 24 minutes. Like right now, it will, about 30 minutes ago, at like 1030 with no traffic, my GPS said 24 minutes. So I have to get there, park, and you have to park across the street. And then walk up to the building. I got to get to the floor, which I don't know where the hell it's at. Like, I, I have a floor. That's all I got. Third floor. <laughs> Third floor, I think. Third, fourth floor. I don't know. I have a floor. So, park. Walk across the street. Get on elevator. Find up. Go to my floor. And then after I get on my floor, I got to find somebody. Tell them I'm new. Can you help me? Wait for them to show me where the locker room is. Figure out how to get in the scrub machine. Most importantly, where is the uh, badge? Because I need the clock in. Because I need all these coins, okay? All of it. 
that part. That's the anxious part. Like doing all that for the first time so that I can just know what the hell it is I'm gonna be dealing with for the next 12 weeks or at least six weeks because they can move me to another facility. I'm rambling. It's five minutes and 42 seconds into the vlog. I'm gonna make my breakfast and I'll be back. bell peppers so they're in the oven i have three i work three days this week three twelves um i got some rice cooking over here so i have lunch for every day this week i bought i got yogurt for a snack while at work i have options for breakfast because i don't know these people one i don't know what they cafeteria food gonna look like i don't know what type of options they gonna give me i don't even know if they got options i don't know what the uber eats in the area is gonna be like and i can't be at work hangry okay so i have breakfast options and Read up on my iced coffee so I can make iced coffee before I leave in the morning. I got me some lemons. I'm going to cut up some lemons. I'm going to put them in my, my handy dandy um water and my handy dandy water cup. See, this is old school right here. Y'all like her running around with your stand list, which I'm not against. I'm just not buying one because I already got a cup. Um, my roommate do just fine. But I'm also not one of the people who prefers cold water. So, um, yes. So, my fruit. The adult thing to do, right, is to just go ahead, cut up the strawberries. I bought another pineapple. That pineapple that I had last week was freaking delicious. I don't even know if I showed y'all that pineapple. I know... I showed y'all me cutting up a watermelon, but I cut up a watermelon and a pineapple last week, and um, they were both really good. So I'm hoping this pineapple won't fail me. That's that's the productive, the adult things to do, right? Just do all things and then sit my black ass down and enjoy the rest of my night before I put myself in the bed at a reasonable time. It's 621. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do all this and then I'm gonna sit down and find me something on TV to watch. what's up y'all <laughs> ain't seen y'all in a couple of days i was in the ghetto getting to the bag making a coin you know keeping this roof over our heads 
it is Friday I'm off I literally like slept the majority of the day because I've been tired because I have to wake up extra early because I have to drive further to get to this hospital Whew. today is my hairstylist like grand opening which I wanted to go to but guys I ain't gonna make it I was too tired to get my life together to find something to wear so we just gonna start Remy Friday going to go pick up some groceries and a target order and then who knows what else get your stuff get your purse your keys your lip gloss your phone your cell phone charger and let's go who wants a four-year-old we got fresh falling out <laughs> shut up that looks so nice freshly dyed hair today what well, happened in the kitchen guys yeah, mac and cheese, mac and cheese, mac and cheese. Right now. The Bay Area is calling me. Look at me, look at me, look at me. Look, you want the camera to look at you? No, I don't really look at my mac and cheese. It's nasty, nobody wants that little fake stuff. I'm just trying to get Friday's dinner going here. So I can enjoy my room Friday. Get your cell phone, get your charger, and let's go.
been Sunday funding all around my apartment by myself all day, all of the vibes. And now it's 6.21 p.m. And the adult thing to do is for me to make myself a dinner. Actually, it's not dinner. Food for the next three days because I got a computer class for this new job because they have this retorted ass computer system that's ancient. It needs to be buried six feet under. But you know what? I don't own a multi-million dollar company. So what WTF do I know? So I'm going to go and sit in this computer class for the next three days, eight hours each day, collect my coin, and tap on the laptop. But I should make lunch. Like, I should pack my lunch and take it so that one, I'm not starving. But I also don't have to be trying to purchase lunch. While I'm there the next couple days, I'm thinking, I'm trying to use what I got. Because I don't know if y'all remember, but some vlogs, vlogs, vlogs back, I said I was going to stop buying a whole bunch of groceries and just buying what I needed at the time and or if I was going to cook something. So I have some stuff that I bought the other day when we did the H-E-B pickup. I got some chicken breast tenders. I got some green beans and I got some potatoes, which is so bleh. But I can cook that. I can saute. Ugh. I can saute these chicken tenders instead of making like red potatoes. I think I'm gonna make some mashed potatoes, and I guess make these green beans and like make some shake for the week. I got some yogurt, steel, and I have something that I can take for breakfast or like eat on the way over there i have some fruit like that's the responsible thing to do right however damn it i meant to do an instacart because i'm almost out of yeah oh it's 6 i'm almost i shit i am out of my instant coffee that's not even a whole cup for in the morning or i could stop at starbucks in the morning and then Grab some instant coffee afterward. I don't know. I'm going to think about it. Anyway. I have enjoyed my weekend off. I did get my schedule for the new job. So I don't know how these videos and vlogs are going to go the next couple weeks. Because all of my days are like in a row. Which. 12 hours. 3 days in a row. Which ends up being more like. 14 hours in a row 14 15 if you think about what time i gotta get up the 12 hours that i actually work and then the time that it takes me to get home doesn't leave a lot of leeway for me to do anything with y'all which is why i need y'all to subscribe like comment share with a friend it helped me blow the channel up so i can be a stay at home full-time content creator and follow me on instagram and tiktok please so yeah, I'm going to do what I can. I'm going to try to, you know, keep the camera rolling, edit when I can the next couple weeks. Because like I said, she put all of my days in a row, which it's kind of annoying, but it's kind of not. Like I can't complain because I'm not on any Saturdays. I feel like only one Sunday. I'm on most of the Fridays. So my Remy Fridays won't start to after I get off work, whether everybody come over here after I get off or, you know, Ebony grows up and be an adult. And so I sit at her house and then I can just pack a bag when I go to work, get off and go to her house, shower and chill. What y'all do today? What y'all be doing on y'all Sundays? Like comment down below because in real life, I really, 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 I keep talking about it. I really, really, really want to do a live, but I don't really know what day and what time is good to do a live that y'all are going to be available and show up and talk to me and I'm not sitting there embarrassed because then nobody show up to talk to me. I attempted one time and I sat on that for like five minutes and then nobody show up. <laughs> embarrassed. So comment down below. I guess I could do a poll and then we could see... Based off the poll, I could give y'all a couple of days and times that work for me. And I'm going to need y'all to reply. I may have done it before you see this video. 
if I haven't, wait for the poll. If I already did the poll and you missed the poll, comment down below and let me know a day and time that's like realistic. It wasn't smart, Nicole. Okay, that's enough potatoes. Oh, that's too much water. Hot, get it together. I put too much water. Get in there, potato. The VIB sale starts in two days. See my reminder? I'm already stocking my cart. I'm not buying a lot of stuff, because realistically, I don't need a lot of stuff, but I want to have stuff in my cart so I can just click purchase. <laughs> and you know your girl is going to use the after pay. Yes, I am. I also feel like, I also feel like it's time to go ahead and do a swimsuit haul or like a summertime haul you know my style in the summertime is so basic i like to do a bunch of sundresses every now and then if i can find some shorts that i like because you know i don't like to put these ham hocks out there to the world i mean the outside world y'all get them but not the outside world but if I can find something cute, but I usually like to do um, sundresses. The girls don't do sundresses no more. They be in their skims. They be in their athleisure wear. I'm not an athleisure girl. I'm just not. My skims, I do wear outside the house sometimes, but that's not summertime fine. So I think I'm going to work on that. Um, haven't decided where I'm going to get the stuff from, but make sure... You're tuned in. Subscribe. Notification bell is on. So that you will know when I actually do it. And I'm thinking about getting a tattoo. Another tattoo. I guess I, I, guess I should say. But have any of y'all heard of, I think it's pronounced Imperial. Imperial or Imperial? I think Imperial. I could be wrong. Battery is going dead. We back so imperial imperial i will put a link to the instagram or the website down below so that y'all can see what i'm talking about they do made to fade tattoos which just means it is it's temporary so it is an ink but it's like some special type of ink that they use and it usually fades within like 15 months so the annoying part is you have to go through that little phase where it's actually fading so you know it don't that's annoying to have to look at it because it's there but it's really not there but then once it's gone it's gone so you can decide if you want it for real or you want to start over that's the whole point for people who don't want temporary tattoos i'm thinking i want to get one because I have a couple tattoos in my head that I want to get, but I'm not really sure if I really, really want them. So I think that's what I'm going to do. The thing is, one I want, y'all know, like, I haven't had my henna in a really long time. And if you're new here, I used to get it all the time, which I should probably make an appointment before she kicked me out of her list of clients because I ain't been in a minute. But I used to be heavy on the henna but i always get them like hand wrist which i think those tattoos are really cute so i kind of want to do one of those then i also want to do like a cute ear tattoo or like behind the ear i don't know it's performed the exact same way it's just like i say it's temporary so if you have had one of those or know someone who had one Comment down below and like let me know the experience. I'm just, you know, I like um I'm, I'm itching to do something. Lord knows I don't need now another person in my life. But I've been thinking about getting another one in my ear. Y'all know I got two or nearly got me um 
for my birthday like two years ago. This was two piercings, but they weren't healing with the two that were there. So there was one above this one. I took it out. Like it was, it was not happy. So I was tired of it. I took it out. And once I took it out, then the one actually healed itself, which praise God. But I kind of want another one right here or the two right here like what mckenna has right here mckenna walk i feel like she still has it right here i don't know i'm just bored and i gotta do something different <laughs> i don't know does anybody else get like that you just get bored i mean i don't want to say bored it's like such a bad way to say it but you just have the need to like ink yourself or pierce yourself if you don't have tattoos and our piercings and you don't get it. But like every so often it's like the itch to do something. I'm also trying to figure out what I want to do with my hair. If I want to change the bundles or take them out. Because it's summertime and this is hot. And y'all know I'm... This is the longest I've probably ever had any weave in my head. And God knows how long. Like I don't have hair because... I've learned I'm, I'm better with short hair. <laughs> I can manage short hair better. I like my hair with short hair, which is why I have not, you know, which is why I have this. Because in real life, I would never have the patience to grow my hair back out. So, I don't know. I'm just... I probably need to stop talking to these people in my head because they running around and they bumping into each other and all of them talking about 17 different things and then I just sit over here and I'm just trying to figure out some random ass shit to do. I need to stop. Anyway, like I said, it's Sunday fun day. It's 18.37. I'm going to go ahead and start this food. Pour me up a drink and I'm going to come back and holler at y'all. boo things it is the end of the night um it is 10 27 p.m i've made my dinner i've made my lunch for the week i've packed it i've put it away like a responsible adult and i'm gonna get myself ready for bed i feel like at this point i don't even know i don't know if this is a weekly vlog a weekend vlog uh living alone in houston vlog girl i don't know no more but the camera was rolling there's footage we're gonna edit it and we are gonna put it out um hopefully for wednesday so i'll be working with us tomorrow just for that she's going on the camera <laughs> join us for work tomorrow bright and early as we forge ahead in our new adventures yeah, because I don't know who thought it was a good idea to put me and her hey, in the sun. Oh my God. I don't know who thought it was a good idea to put me and her in the same computer class for the next three days, but there we will be. If you are this far in the vlog and you are not subscribed and your notification bell is not on, go ahead, click subscribe, notification bell so that you know when I post. Boo things. Can all y'all make sure y'all notification bells are on so that y'all can know when I post so you can come watch the videos when I upload them. If not, it's okay because I know you be outside living life and you know you come back and you hang out with me whenever you can. Love all of you. And I will see y'all, I guess, in the morning since somebody said come to work with us. We'll do what we can. Okay?